hello also so far in this video series we have seen how can we configure a database mirroring first of all with full backup and then with the combination of last full backup and a log backup now in this video we'll see how can we pause and resume the database mirroring but before we actually start that let's go through the documentation so this same link i have opened here this is basically a documentation provided by microsoft now if i scroll down uh, let's read this particular paragraph which they have provided how pausing and resuming resuming affects the truncation affect the lock truncation basically so let's read this first sentence or first paragraph normally when an automatic checkpoint is performed on the database its transaction log is truncated that means was truncated means was the transaction log file size get reduced all right so transaction log is truncated to that checkpoint after the next log backup that means what if you take the log backup the existing transaction log file should get reduced so we'll see that how that is how how that happens so what i will do for that i will go ahead and create the new hr database so now as you can see the earlier hr database i have removed that so there is no database mirroring right now i will create and i will create a new hr database now all right i will take the full log backup as well or full backup as well not log backup so let me check if there are any existing backups here there are so i will remove them and i will take the full backup now task uh, backup full backup and i will rename that with full v1 perfect all right now let's create a table first of all because how we are going to create the transaction log which we are looking for so basically we are interested in finding out if we run the log backup run the log backup the existing transaction log file should get reduced but to in order to in order i mean for transaction file file should to get reduced first of all we have to increase that log file size how can we increase the log file size by creating some dummy transaction so for that i will create a table first and we'll try to insert dummy data into this table so i will not this one so i will go ahead with our main node i will create the table okay now let's before adding a uh, uh adding a dummy data let's find out the existing log file size so current transaction sorry uh, the log file size is 8 mb and basically it's less than 8 mb because 7.4 is almost free so kind of 0.5 0.6 mb current log file size all right so what i will do uh, let's insert the dummy records here so basically what i am doing i am uh, inserting 30000 rows into employees table and it's a dummy data basically so if i let me seven so as you can see the log file size got increased it will keep on increasing till the time this statement gets finished see now it's 136 it has to be multiple of 8 okay it's still running okay the statement execution got finished so as you can see now the current log file size is 136 mb out of that 18 mb is are free so actual size kind of 136 minus let's say 18 so it's near about 118 mb currently free or sorry that's the size of our okay let me cancel that's a log file size right now why it is okay so but still consider a uh, 136 mb is a current size and earlier the size was 8 mb all right out of that 7.5 was free so now it is 136 mb out of that 18 mb are 
free so the actual size would be 118 okay now what they are saying is if at all I take the log back up now its transaction log is truncated to that checkpoint after the next log backup so if I take the log backup now this 116 MB should get reduced so let's see task or at least the free space should increase so ultimate currently it's 118 MB so it should get reduced so task and backup I will take the log backup and remove add log v1 perfect So let's open another session. And as you can see now, the free space got ready increased to 121 MB. Okay, earlier it was 18 MB, now it is 121 MB. So how much actual log file size I have now is. So instead of 18, I will add let's say 121. So that's just it just a 15 MB now so that means the statement is very true like after taking the log backup the transaction log file got reduced all right so earlier very initially it was 8 MB once we add we executed that dummy or inserted the dummy records it got increased to 118 MB and currently it is 15 MB after taking the log backup so after taking the log backup the log file size got reduced it got shrink okay so let me execute this again so currently the free space is 121 MB okay now so if I execute this multiple times our current size may not get increased reason being there is already a space free space so this free space get reduced so if I execute this one 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 more time see the free space is getting reduced earlier it was 121 MB now it is getting reduced perfect so it stopped now the execution stop oops oh, oh. So let me go back here so okay so as you can see the current free space is 1.61 MB so almost 136 KB MB is occupied so if I take the log back up so task backup and I will remove this I will take the log V2 okay now the free space should get increased because after taking a log backup the yeah see it's 121 MB so exactly 15 MB uh, uh, space is there for our current log file so that means this statement is very true that is after tra uh, transaction log is getting truncated to the checkpoint after the next log backup now let's go ahead so far so good while a database mirroring session remains paused all of the current log remains active because the principal server is waiting to send them to the mirror server the unsent log records accumulate in the transaction log of the principal database until session resumes and the principal server has sent the log records to the mirror server now this particular point will validate when the session log is session is resumed the principal server immediately begins sending the accumulated log records to the mirror server after mirror server confirms that it has queued the log record corresponding to the oldest automatic checkpoint the principal server truncates the log of the principal database to that checkpoint the mirror server truncates the redo queue at the same log record at this as this process is repeated for each successive checkpoint the log is truncated in stages 
checkpoint by checkpoint okay now this second part will validate what it says is while a database a mirroring session remains paused all the current log records remains active that means what if my mirroring session is paused it should not truncate the log and the tr log truncation should happen only when I resume the mirroring so we'll validate that so what I will do so before I can validate that I need to start the mirroring between two instances so what I will do uh, I have already taken the full backup and log backup I will restore those full backup and log backup to other instance perfect okay so let me first of all copy those logs okay and I will copy first full backup and last log backup or restore I should not say copy so let's do one thing or I can take full backup that's fine let's take full backup task uh, backup I will take the full backup, remove, add full v2. Okay, and I will take the log backup once again. Backup, log, remove, add log v3. perfect and let me go to that server okay and let me restore those restore database I'll first restore full backup all files full backup I will select restore with no recovery perfect now let me restore task restore log backup and I have to select restore with no recovery perfect so far so good now we are ready for enabling the mirroring task mirror configure security next so my mirror server is or mirror instance is this one next next finish start mirroring perfect mirroring mirroring it started let's validate once uh, before we pause the mirroring let's validate so currently the free space is 121 MB perfect I will pause the mirroring task mirror pause okay let me execute this statement one more time so our free space should get reduced now it's getting reduced it will it should stop around 6 MB now let's go back to our documentation what it says is while the while a database mirroring session remains paused all the current log records remains active because the principal server is waiting to send them to mirror server now before this we saw as as soon as we took the log backup our log file size got renewed got reduced immediately but now what change we have done is we have configured the mirroring and we have paused that mirroring so as per this statement those log file size should not get reduced it should remain active on the principal server because it should wait for those uh, logs to mirror on the mirrored instance so let's see 
okay so now the free space is 4.18 mb now if i take log backup if uh, mirroring is not paused ideally our free space should in get increased or basically uh, log file size should get reduced so let's take the log backup backup transaction log remove and i will add log underscore v4 perfect okay now let's see the size so it is 136 and 4.18 mb free as you can see there is no change in the free space now what i will do i will remove that pause so i will resume my database mirroring now let's look at the size it got increased so this statement is very true that means what as soon as we resume the mirroring the unsent log records accumulate in the transaction log of the principal database until the session resumes so as soon as we resume the database mirroring those unsent log which were accumulated on principal node were got sent to mirrored node and that's why the size got reduced automatically so basically in this video we saw how can we pause and resume the mirroring and how it affects the transaction log okay truncation of transaction i mean and this is very important point so if log fills up either because of it reaches to maximum size or server instance runs out of space the database cannot perform any more updates to avoid this so that's why it is very important whenever you pause the mirroring you have to validate the size of your log file size basically it should not get filled up so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video